Hi there and welcome back to the video series. In this video we're going to add an observer which is going to watch for a newly created event or actually an event that is marked as a new creation of a task and we will be sending ourselves an email to tell us hey there's a new task. Um, we're going to use Mailgun uh, sorry, in production I use Mailgun a lot, but in here we're going to use um, Mailtrap.io to actually capture those emails. Uh, I already set up the environment uh, variables for that. That's something you can find at um, Mailtrap.io. Um, so yeah, let, let's dive into it and let's create our observer. Okay, so in our application, we want to create a new task. And whenever it's created, we want to have an email in our inbox saying, hey, there is a new task created for you. Um, so head over to people for Tara Gerald. I want to add this form, enter, the, enter this form here, and I want to receive an email. All right, so first of all, we're going to create a talk, an uh, observer. So PHP artisan make, uh, and it's an observer, and it's a task observer model uh, dash dash model task. Let's create that. This actually will create an observer for us. So in here in the observers we have, it's actually the, the folder didn't exist priorly. It's a new folder with task observer class inside. And in here we're going to write our logic that we want whenever a task is created. But in order to have this working, we need to register our observer in our providers. So in here, in the providers, um, we used to do this in the app service provider, but we can also do this in the event service provider. So let's start off with use um, app models, whoops, models, and it's actually a task that we need. And let's copy this and in observers, observers, it's the task observer that we need. All right, so in the boot function here, I want a task to observe and then it must trigger the um, task observer class like that. And I did something wrong here. I need two columns like that. So task observe, task observer class. All right. So whenever a task is created, this will actually, yeah, catch that creation and run the created or update or deleted function um, for the, the, yeah, the, the event that is actually happening. So in here, I want to have uh, a mail that will be sent. Okay, so First of all, we're going to create um, a new mail. So PHP artisan make mail. Um, and I want it to be called task created. Make mail task created. All right. Uh, and it's artisan, of course. Artisan task created. And this actually created a new mail for us called task created. And it's in the new folder mail task created and uh, um, yeah envelope subject here task created and the content here will take in a view and a name so we're going to set this to email um, uh, task um, created like that and with a small c I'm going to just name it with a small c and in the view uh, so resources views I'm going to quickly uh, create a new, uh, uh, whoops, it's already existing because I did test this priorly, of course, email folder here. And in here, I want a new file called um, taskcreated.blade.php, like that. And in here, I'm just going to add a, a paragraph, uh, a new task was created, like that. All right, so next up, I want to actually um, send an email, right? So first of all, we're going to import uh, that. So use illuminate, illuminate um, support, and it's a facade. 
support facade uh, mail and there we go and I also want user because I'm going to quickly grab the first user in our database which is actually me all right so we're going to create our mail here so mail two and this is actually going to um, yeah need a user object or or an email address so I'm going to go for user find and I want to find the ID of one which is me right um, then I'm going to add send here and in here we need to actually um, add our email so first of all we need to um, import it uh, as well so use app mail slash um, backslash task created created like that and it's a new task created so new task created like that and it's a function because it's callable and a semicolon at the end we can actually add data in here which will be yeah yeah will be used in here if we uh, if we implement that but for now this is okay so i have uh, a mail trap set up here which is empty at the moment so let's actually test this out so uh let's call it observe Ver test this is a test and let's create and all right the task was created and if i head over to mail trap refresh here i have a new email as well let's see what's inside uh in here task created and a new task was created so that's actually how we can um use observers to watch for um, yeah the basic things like created events update events and delete events we can add additional listeners for custom events as well but that's something for an entirely different course um, so yeah that's how you can send emails as well so uh, creating tasks having emails that related or related to that task uh, can be done by doing this in the next video we're going to uh, create a first custom command uh, to actually send an email whenever it's someone's birthday within a few days. So see you in the next video.